KZ fam back with the second video of the day and we got how to have emotional control like Ayano Koji Kiyotaka now this this, this is going to be a little different I, I think they're just going to like it says in the title they're going to do an analysis of classroom of the elite specifically on Ayano Koji and just like you know what I'm saying I don't know for some reason I just felt like watching this video with y'all and this is gonna be our second video of the day because I've been doing too many edits, bro. Too many, too many edits and, and channels, and and you know what I'm saying. I just, I just wanted to do something different. But yeah, man. If you're new to the channel, you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that sub button, hit those likes, and turn on the bell so y'all get notified whenever I drop a video. And don't forget, down in the description, we have my Discord, my Instagram, and my Twitter. Truly and genuinely develop emotional control? It's self-evident that emotional control is something that I and Nikoji has downpacked due to a many of circumstances. Moreover, emotional control is something that is extremely beneficial and practical to us in real life, which is why I'm taking the time to make this video. In this video, I and Nikoji can be used as a reference example or our mascot for emotional control, as it can be intriguing to see how the author uses real life traits and exemplifies it in a character such as I and Nikoji. Just like every Bro. video, I must make. That is actually insane to me. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's that's crazy how they can do that. Just like, put. I mean, obviously it's not that hard to do to put specific character traits in 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 something that you imagine. You know what I'm saying? But but still, it's just like. Make it clear that it is impossible to completely be like a fictional character, hence the keyword fictional. However, it is very, very much possible to watch any character in any show or genre, study how the writer makes them operate, and consciously conceptualize potential scenarios that could be similar in real life. That is completely realistic and absolutely objective, so I encourage you to disregard anyone who says you cannot learn from anime or that it's childish. These individuals are extremely close-minded in life and genuinely believe that there should be some sort of threshold or limitation on how one can learn or embody information these are the type of people who actively pursue to hold people back from their potential instead of encouraging others to learn and grow in their own unique way these people are the scum yeah. of the earth this channel is for the open-minded not the narrow let's get straight into it okay okay if we're talking I and Nikoji, it is virtually impossible to mention the creation of his personality traits without also mentioning the White Room. As most of us know, the White Room was an environment crafted by I and Nikoji's father himself, an establishment curated specifically to engineer from birth the most intelligent and cultivated youth that the city of Japan has ever seen. I and Nikoji himself was an erudite. Some people say it was due to having pressure on him as his father owned the White Room establishment, and others say it could be genetics. But whatever the specifics, I and Nikoji was the one student that excelled above all the others in the school's history, literally becoming the benchmark of success for all future students after his departure. Now let's tie how the White Room plays into Aya Nikoji's emotional control, and of course how we could potentially relate this to hypothetical scenarios of real life. Lesson 1. Okay. Environment, environment, environment. Ask yeah. yourself this question. What is your normal? What is the normal day for you? What activities and lifestyle do you find to be normal for you? For some people, it's playing video games all day in their dorm room, eating Cheetos, and then binging all their favorite Twitch streamers. Then after that gets boring, then they get an urge to work. Work. Exercise. Work, exercise, do my videos, and then free time. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the hell I want to do with it. Uh, probably like two hours, three hours left of free time. Wax the carrot because they have a PMO addiction, then passing out until it's 11 a.m. the next morning. For some other people, their normal is waking up at 6.30 a.m. to hit a killer workout, then while taking a shower, they're strategically thinking on what productive things need to be done that day, then they immediately execute with Blitzkrieg. Now, which normal do you think would make you more successful in life? If we the look second. at the normal of Ai and Akoji, his environment consisted of the most painful trials and tests of performance than any other kids in Japan and on a daily basis. Ayana Koji was placed in an environment where he was forced to stretch his most optimal state as a human being and no matter the cost. Unfortunately, the school encouraging even immoral characteristics if that meant guaranteed success. Inside the White Room, Ayana Koji's environment consisted of survival of the fittest, an environment of diehard competition day after day after day, so that therefore excellence and perfection became Ayana Koji's default state, aka his normal. Now, obviously the White Room is an extreme example 
sense. But the underlying message is still inescapable. Environment initiates the type of person you will be because environment initiates the type of habits you will form as a human being. And whatever your habits okay. are determines what your normal will be. Don't lose me here. Listen, yes. my brothers, if you want to easily and naturally build ironclad emotional control and establish an irremovable fortress around your emotions, you must dedicate yourself to an environment where it is possible for that emotional fortress to be built. Just like I and Akoji, you must be surrounded by- That's true, man. That's- that is- that is spot on. That's true. Environment matters a lot, you know what I'm saying? That is that. external stimuli that will force you to establish emotional control in the first place. If you give yourself choice, then naturally your emotional control will never mold. Once again, Aya Nakoji is a fictional character in the White Room, a fictional establishment. And for the love of God, no, I'm not saying go out and find an establishment to kidnap you and have you tortured <laughs> against your will. At the beginning of the video, I said this channel is for the open-minded, but it's, it's not for idiots. So no, you don't need to find a White Room. Nonetheless, though, we can find ways in real life to replicate. As I continue to watch Classroom of the Elite and rewatch specific specific scenes, it becomes very obvious to me that Aya Nakoji possesses a trait that in real life is a very cherishable trait that many of the world's greatest, like Muhammad Ali, Kobe Bryant, and even Elon Musk have talked about at length, which is the power of pain threshold. Aya Nakoji's environment initiated his potential habits, but in order for him to have groomed his habits, he would have had to go through specific exercises day after day after day in order for the habits to be formed. This is where pain threshold comes yeah. in, especially when it comes to building emotional control. In order to develop Aya Nakoji's levels of emotional control, you need to first place yourself in an environment that encourages emotional control. But, but Brad, what do I do once I found the right environment? How do I specifically begin <laughs> training my emotional control? One, you train it by not talking like that. And then two, the answer is, Pain. In my earlier videos, I used to say it all the time, and we even have a whole module inside my free official Sasuke Uchiha course on this topic, and inside oh, the Maluna okay. Kingdom Patreon, we go 50 times deeper. One of my key sayings is that pain equals growth. And every time you experience some form of pain and suffering, you push what I call your pain threshold. The higher your pain threshold, the more pain you can take. The more pain you can take, the more you can grow. And in the context of emotional control, the more pain you can feel without wincing or feeling the need to run away, then the more authority and domination you'll have over your emotions the team that is so facts bro that is so facts that is so facts bro if you can't take the heat man when it comes to pain when it comes to maybe heartbreak maybe losing a loved one maybe something whatever it is if you can't take it you will fall into sorrow depression sadness smoking drinking those are the weak-minded people. Sorry to say, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just speaking the truth. Those are the weak-minded people. The strong-minded people, when they go through these things, heartbreak, sadness, um, uh, whatever it is that's, that's, that's going on in their life, that's bad. The strong-minded people will use that sadness and will take advantage, you know what I'm saying? It, they'll realize that it's unlimited motivation bro like you you have to become better there's no other way how can you how can you possibly drown in sorrow you can't do that to yourself you're just making things worse you know what i'm saying so it's, it's facts bro it's teachers facts. within the white room understood this to a t of course they took this to the absolute extremity and did heinous things to their own pupils but they understood that the more often one is accustomed to suffering the yeah. less effect emotions will have on them those who move as cowards in the presence That's of fear true. have a very weak pain threshold they have not experienced enough discomfort in their life and therefore when exposed to it their immediate reaction is to run away this is what the mm. faculty at the white room yeah. understood and made sure to include inside the curriculum and this is directly why Aya Nakoji has absolute authority over his emotions to the point I honestly don't even know if he has emotions like that. He might just be a robot. <laughs> but for you and I who are not yeah. trying to be robots, at least I hope, we can practice this effectively on a very realistic and reality based level. If you do not have control over your emotions, it is because you find discomfort to be uncomfortable. And the only way to fix this is to actively change this yourself. You need to find ways to increase your pain threshold. I remember a year ago inside our Millennial Kingdom Discord Brotherhood, all of us participated in a 90 day Sasuke Uchiha challenge where for 90 days, 
we actively increased our pain threshold by encouraging each other to push ourselves while working out and lifting weights, getting up earlier, talking to strangers more, asking out girls on dates, being more direct with your daily actions, studying harder for school, etc, etc. By actively engaging in things that are extremely uncomfortable, your body and more importantly, your mind has no choice but to acclimate to this new environment, which over time then becomes your new normal. Once discomfort is your new normal, discomfort then becomes comfortable, in which case your emotions will never have you on a leash, but the other way around. By pushing your limits and actively Facts. going out to seek risk, you are literally teaching your emotions to bow under your will, and with repetition, your emotions will literally never question your authority again. Eventually, you will reach emotional master. That's it for this video. Hopefully, you found value in this lesson of emotion. That was that was a good explanation, bro. I need all that. That was a good explanation. Um, it's very very true. To be honest, it's it's very very true. Um. But yeah, guys, I ain't even gonna lie. I, I just I just wanted to do something different today. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that was how to have emotional control. Like, you know, Koji, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love y'all so damn much. KZ fam, stay positive, stay healthy, and most definitely keep that strong mentality, man. Um, out. <laughs>